Welcome Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans to the home gym for the first home game of the 2017-18 season here in the Tri-County Classic. December 7th, the day of infamy, 2017, and the Lions play host to the Bulldogs tonight of Bennington High School. The girls coming off a win against Solomon, the guys a loss. We're here to start out the games tonight with the girls versus the Lady Dogs of Bennington. Uh, Bennington is 0-1 on the season. They lost to Halstead last Tuesday by a score of 38-20. While Minneapolis beat Solomon 49-24. This is the 18th game in the series dating back to 1976. Minneapolis holds a 17-1 margin over the Lady Dogs and a 12-game win streak. The last Bennington, the only Bennington win was in 2002. Last season uh, in this classic on the 6th of December, Minneapolis won by 21 by a score of 43-22. The Lions coached by Brian Weatherman and Mitch Shea, is that right, Mike? Yep. Yeah. And Heather Bergman, too, like you'll see her on the bench. But the dogs are coached by Minneapolis native T.J. Trout. Welcome to Minneapolis High School and tonight's contest. Tonight's action features the Bennington Lady Bulldogs. Greg Tanzer and Staley Diabell. Dale Leach, Mike Curry, to bring you the game tonight. Might be joined by Scott Oshman somewhere along the line. Depends on whether his boys, when his boys quit playing where. <laughs> and an exciting uh, junior varsity game that just finished between the Bennington Bulldogs and Minneapolis Lions. Minneapolis won in overtime by a deuce, I think. We'll have introductions coming up here. Hey, tonight, starting lineup. And now, the, Lady the starting lineup junior, three, for Bennington, Claudia. number three, Trout. that's Claudia Trout. And Probably run the point guard. For four, for four, number four, that's Kirstie Nelson. And for Bennington, for Bennington number, number, six, ten, number 10, Chloe Stanley. Chloe Stanley. She's a 5'6 sophomore. From Minneapolis, number 10 is Zoe Shoup. And for the Lady Dogs, number 12, Casey Kaiser. And for your Lady Lions, and for Minneapolis, Lady Lions, number 12, Courtney. Walker. And for Bennington, number 15, Jordan Murphy. And for the Lady Lions, Junior, Junior, Charisma, McNary. And for Bennington, number 22, Alexis Watson. And for Minneapolis, playing in the middle, Faith Kornick. A double double. 23 points the other night. Last Tuesday, had at least 10 rebounds. 23 points. Her mother told me that that's a yeah, personal best. Points. Yeah, undoubtedly a personal best. Played well. We got the ball down low on the low block, and she, I don't know, she missed more than two or three shots all night. Only she missed one in the first half, and that's yeah. 16 points. So she was 100% for the longest time. Right? Yeah. That's a good start. We'd like to see that again tonight as Minneapolis hosts Bennington in the Tri-State, Tri-County, excuse me, Tri-County tournament. Girls won at Solomon on Tuesday night, handily. And uh, Bennington girls lost to Halstead. Lost to Halstead. Byron. Around 20, something like that. 38-20. Uh, to Kornick will jump center for Minneapolis. I'm sure Alexis Watson will for the Lady Dogs. Oh, 
Maybe Kaiser, she's a little taller. It will be Kaiser. Jumping center. If you're complaining about the bald referee, you've got three to talk about. And we're underway. Tips controlled by Minneapolis. Shoop has it. Down the corner to the nearest three-pointer on its way. No good. Four and, oh, I was going to say four and was mugged as she had the rebound on the back side. Stick that back, she is fouled. Watson whistled with the foul. Kornick goes to the line to shoot two. Free throw up, no good. Not a lot of free throws the other night. I don't believe we shot one. I need to check the book. But. Second one is good. And Minneapolis takes a early 1-0 lead. Trout on the right wing, guarded by Vigneri. Man-to-man -man defense by Minneapolis. The ball is dumped inside. Kornick over the back to Watson. And as Dale mentioned, and we talked about this the other night, if we can keep Faith out of foul trouble, be in good shape, shot from the outside, front rim no good. Prism of Vigneri has the rebound. Left wing, Kirsten Nelson. Now his layup by Charisma is no good. And she tipped it off the back of the backboard. It will be black ball. Bennington to play it in. 7.24 left first quarter. Stanley taking care of the point guard duties for Bennington. Motion offense. Trout has it stolen on the left wing as Charisma jumps in that passing lane. Nelson back to Vigneri. Long one on its way. No good. And Faith Kornick has the rebound for Minneapolis. Dribble drive in the paint. Nelson dribbled it off the defender's foot, but Minneapolis able to rescue the ball. Shoot, jump shot, no good. Nelson had a hand on it, but tipped it out of bounds instead of grabbing it. It will be Lady Dog's ball. It's a play in. Kaiser plays it in to Stanley. There's a cutter. Trout was open for just a second. Tight defense here by Minneapolis in the early going. One nothing, Minneapolis. That should be a walk. Well, I wonder why they didn't call that. That was up and down. I didn't think she kept her pivot foot. I would agree. Long shot from the outside. Nelson barely draws iron. Trout on the right wing for Bennington. Out front, Stanley Geyser, excuse me, shuffles the feet before she put the ball on the floor. Traveling is the call. She guarded very closely by Murphy. Nelson shot one from there earlier with no luck. Kornick held off and then go over the back. Faith was fortunate she did get number two there. If she would have reached, she would have got it. Now Shoup with the big steal goes out of bounds. It will remain with Bennington. Cold shooting so far, Dale, just about as cold as the outside. As cold as up here. Stanley with the ball, gets it off to Trout. She did step on the out of bounds line. She was trying to maintain her balance, but she was right on the line. Put the foot down out of bounds and they turn it over back to Minneapolis. 
There we go. I was really surprised Bennington's going to play man to man against us because we're able to do that all night long, and Pornick is going to be a tough matchup down low. And there's a steal as the bounce pass goes in to Watson, but loose. There's another one down low. She gets spotted up down on the low block. She is a little bit tough to handle. She does not just stand there and take the shot. She has a jump shot, elevates, and extends the arms, and she is long. Now all the way in, the layup by Stanley. Throws up a wild one, but she is fouled. Be a two-shot foul. Foul Minneapolis number 32, Faith Corning, her second team, second. Well, Shooting two. I don't know how she got all Stanley. the way over there to get a foul, but she did. Who'd they call it on? That it's was Venary. Yeah. Oh, come on. Free throw up and good. I didn't even think she was anywhere near the ball. I think Coach, get a clarification, I think the foul was on somebody else. Forte enter, enters in the contest. Free throw, no good. Stanley over the back of Charisma, but that's not called. Caroline Giles into the contest, all the way in she goes. Gets it back to Forte and the ball goes through her leg. Left hand layup is up and in. That's good by number 10, Chloe Stanley. Goodness, why would you foul after the shot? I don't know. Foul in the was number 15. And to count that Stanley with the left hand layup, ball is up and in, and the foul is whistled on Charisma McNary, her first. One shot, the and one, and free throw no good. Forte gets moved out of there and can't rebound, and Walker tied up. Kaiser, I think, possession arrow to the Lady Dogs. Stanley flops but can't draw the foul as Minneapolis lays off. Watson on the left wing. Entry pass is no one home and goes out of bounds. That will be a turnover to Minneapolis. Walker will play it in. Giles playing the point as McNary moves over to the wing. McNary drives the lane, now dumps it down to Forte. She's mugged, shot way up off the glass, no good. And Bennington controls the rebound. Shot down low is no good. Kaiser gets the ball. Ripped out of there. Thought Forte had it, but Kaiser was too strong. Three pointer on its way, no good. Forte has the rebound. Get it back to Giles. In the lane she goes. She was fine until she took a little hop there. <laughs> back in the contest. Maybe we can get a little continuity here. 5-5. Five, five. Right wing. Number 25 ends the contest for Bennington. That's Robinson. Now down the lane, out in front it goes, shot no good, and Forte tipped it right out of bounds. 
It will be Bennington's ball to play in. Long shot on its way, no good. Forte has the rebound for Minneapolis. Good strong rebound there. Dribble drive, double dribble. Goodness. She, I thought Carolyn had the lay, layup there. Second from Minneapolis, number four. First to Nelson to come in. She tried to check up and turned it over. Nelson back in to the contest. Stanley clears the timeline for Pennington. Nice play by Forte to step in as they dump that ball down low. Now the pass to the other side, Nelson. On a nice pass from Charisma McNary. Yeah, that's a good, good call. Player possession call. Kayla Kind. A little bit out of control there, run right over the top. And for the Lady Lions, we're able to draw the charge. Player control foul. It's the ball back to Minneapolis. Shoot. Stops and pops. Shot looked good from here. Now Forte with another big rebound for Minneapolis. Shoot. Off to drag. Shot no good. Left it short. And it's pulled down out of there by Stanley. For Bennington. Minute 10 left. First quarter. Drag guarding Stanley. Almost a steal at half court. Bennington rescues the ball and will play out the remainder of this quarter, I believe. Forte and Shoup, and they force the turnover. In for a As Robinson shuffles the feet, turns the ball over, Minneapolis gets it back. With 39 seconds left. Shoot. And we lose it. Possession arrow favors Minneapolis. We need to get it back. Minneapolis to play it in. On our baseline. Forte out front to Walker. Jump shot off the glass and in. Yeah, he's got the roll. Number 12, Courtney Walker. Walker gets a big shot there. Ball did make it all the way around the rim at least once, if not twice. Lost track of time. Kine had it out front. And couldn't get a shot off at the end of the first quarter. Minneapolis leading nine to five. And uh, I thought it might be a little bit of trouble with Cornick on the bench, but uh, the rest of the gals are doing just fine. We'll be right back. Welcome back to second quarter action. The Bulldogs, Lady Dogs, will have the ball with the possession arrow. Stanley with the ball in the backcourt. Gets it off to Murphy on the right wing. Murphy, a pretty good defender, playing really good defense against Shoup when she brings the ball up the court. Baseline drive shot over the rim, no good. Rebound by Bennington, stick back, no good, and Forte. All right. Starting to bad pass though. 
Pennington intercepts Stanley all the way in. Layup, no good. Forte has a hand on it, tips it out to Charisma Vigneri. Two on two, stops and pops, shot, no good. Probasco, nice follow up. Nice rebound and stick back by Kaylee Probasco. Now the defense, oh, that was a walk. Ball was taken away by Nelson. McNary has it and pulls it back out. Nelson with it on the left wing. Add her across the arm. I thought that might be a foul. Not called. Nice travel, wasn't it? Boy, you didn't think so. <laughs> 30 second timeout by the left. Lions leading 11 to 7. Stanley all the way in for the layup there. I had a chance to stop her, but uh, heck of a play by Stanley. 30 second timeout, Dale. It's a little helter skelter out there. It is. Pretty evenly matched teams when Kate Faith Gornick on the bench. On the bench. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more evenly matched. <laughs> and they were giving her no uh, no free hand no. when she was in there like Faith had against uh, Solomon. Yeah. Probasco plays well when she's in there. Uh, she scores. Yes, she does. Good scoring punch off the bench. Walker to play it in. Bennington coming up with a little pressure here. They're going to look to trap at half court. And they didn't get that done, but they'll trap in the corner. Pignari's pass is over the hands of Probosco. Now she's got the layup. Wow, I thought she was fouled. So is her. Nelson can't get it to go in. And Watson has the rebound on the backside for Bennington. Minneapolis with three chances there at the bucket. Number four in the contest, Megan. The other Stanley, there's another Stanley. And number 10, Chloe Stanley with the layup for Bennington. Nelson on the baseline, short, leaves it short. Rebound by Bennington. <laughs> now we got a layup if we get there. Nelson all the way in, shot Nelson. Nice pass from McNary. Stanley, a little bit out of control, gets it off to Nelson and walks. Drag back in for Minneapolis along with Caroline Giles. Forte Giles, Walker, McNary, and Greg. Stanley out on top. There's an easy layup. Oh, missed. But Forte has the rebound for Minneapolis. Watson all the way in, uncontested almost, missed the layup. Now Vigneri shot no good. But she is fouled. So she'll go to the line. That's her first. Shooting two for Minneapolis, number 15, Charisma Vigneri. Yes, Vigneri gets a two-shot foul here. Free throw, no good. Oh, she rolled it in. Second for Bennington, number three, Claudia Trout. He was shooting the ball well at Solomon in the first half the other night. She had three threes and uh, was shooting rather well. She gets them both here. And Minneapolis with the 15-9 lead. Right wing. Now Trout has it. 
out front. Crowd all long shot, no good. Tipped around and it tips clear out on top and Bennington resets the offense. Out on top, Kind gets it off to Murphy on the left wing. There's another layup, and this time they get it to go. Once that side clears out, they've got an opening all the way in. Now in the corner, Walker back to Gregg. That was a travel twice. Shot, no good from the corner, Walker. And Minneapolis gets back on defense. 15-11, Minneapolis. Kind has it. Now Stanley on, or excuse me, that's Murphy. And a blocking foul is called. Three thirty-five left, first half. Almost an up and down, but no call. Seen that a couple times tonight. Mm -hmm. Trout out front versus her dribble. Now shoots and no. Forte has it for a minute. Tight turns into the defender and might have tripped over tied a half a player there on the first floor. Possession arrow does favor Minneapolis, though. 325 to go in the half. It's Minneapolis 15, Bennington 11. 1-3-1. One, one. Half court trap. Just getting ready to be put on us by Bennington. Nelson. Took a hop. Without a dribble. Second for Bennington, number 12, Casey Kaiser. Travels. We turn it over. Stanley with a walking dribble for Bennington, guarded by Nelson, Minneapolis, and a man to man. On the right wing, Kaiser has it. Jump down pass is tipped out there nicely by Charisma McNary. Nice defensive play by Charisma. Kaiser play it in for Pennington. They go four wide across the baseline. Kaiser hands it off to Stanley. And almost a nice steal. It is a steal as last touch by number 25. Robinson couldn't get a handle on it, and good play by Shoup. And one of the bald-headed headed referees discuss it, and they make the call, and that's the way it's going to stay. Nice play by Chloe. Or excuse me. Zoe. Zoe. We got a Chloe on the other team. Right through the wicket. Score still 15-11. Favor the Lions. It's down to 2.35 to go in the half. Stanley. Direct traffic for the Lady Dogs. Kaiser. Down low it goes. Nice Double easy shot. Number 12, Kaiser. They get it down the low block, and Kaiser able to put it in. We turn it over. Walker, handy on the spot. Nelson, three pointer, no good. And Stanley has a rebound on the back side. And they get another layup. And tied up 15. They've outscored us 10 to 6 here this quarter. A 
That's Alyssa Wilson. Long three-pointer by Vigneri. No good. And Minneapolis had the rebound but loses it. Two Minneapolis girls had their hands on it and they tipped it out to a Bennington player and then they had almost had an easy layup. 15-15. First half, minute 24 left. Giles stepped in front of the pass, prevent that easy set shot on the inbounds play. Shot no good. Point blank. Now, how about that reach in foul? Walker with the rebound and this foul. Foul number 12, Casey Kaiser. Kaiser had a shot point blank and could not connect for Bennington. Fourth team foul on the Lady Dogs, five on Minneapolis. 119 here to go in the half. It's tied to 15. The Lions with the ball. Walker has it, back to Giles. They clear the timeline. Back to Walker, now in the corner, Nelson. Out to Vigneri. Giles, shot is up and in. Basketball number two, Caroline Giles. Puts the Lady Lions up by two. Under a minute. Stanley on the right wing, now down low. Nice defense by Minneapolis. Forte, she's got to keep her feet. Lost her balance, fell to her hind in and traveled. Couldn't get rid of the ball fast enough. Couldn't get rid of it fast enough. Kind to play it in for Bennington. Gets it into Kaiser. Kaiser, the baseline drive is foul. Let's go to the free throw line. To sh two shot foul, I believe. Foul in the number 13, Courtney Walker. Walker with the reach in. Team foul six. With 34 seconds left. Two shot foul here for Kaiser. First up, shot. No good. Kaiser's second throw on its way. It's good. 17-16, Minneapolis. They have a timeout on the floor for something. Minneapolis retains possession. I don't know what that was about. Oh, there's a fan on the courts. We clear the timeline, Walker has it. Out front, Giles. She loses it, headed to the basket. Good stop over there with 13 seconds left. Dump down pass by Kind is tipped out of bounds by Minneapolis. Good defensive play by the Lady Lions. Kind to play it in, excuse me. It's gonna be Murphy playing in the ball for Bennington. Wide open, long shot, no good. Walker had a hand on, they're gonna give it to Minneapolis. No, black. All right, I thought you said white. And for the Lady Lions, number 10, Zoe Shoot. 4.1 ticks left now. Lions still up by one, 17-16. Stanley all the way to the basket. Shot no good. And Minneapolis has the rebound. At the half, Minneapolis 17, 
17-16, the score at halftime. Lady Lions hang on for a one-point lead at halftime. We'll be back with some point totals here in just a minute. The Tri-County Tournament, Bennington, Minneapolis. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Getting ready for the second half here. Mike's got some point totals for us. Point totals for the first half here. Born for uh, Bennington Lady Dogs. Stanley led all scores with seven. Kaiser had three. Murphy had two. Watson had two. And Wilson had two off the bench for the Lady Dogs. 16 points in the first half. Minneapolis scoring. Faith Cornick, all her points were in the first quarter. Picked up her second foul early in the first quarter. She scored five points, though, in that period of time. McNary, just two points. Both from points were from the free throw line, Dale. And we're used to seeing her knocking down a three or so. Yeah, she's missed a few here in the first half. Maybe this second half will be her second half we were looking for the other night at Solomon. Courtney Walker has two. Kirstie Nelson has four. Caroline Giles has a bucket, and so does Kaylee Probosco. 17 points scored by Minneapolis in the first half. Second half, just a minute and a half away from getting going here. Scoring by quarters, Minneapolis outscored the Lady Dogs nine to five in the first quarter. The Lady Dogs of Minnesota came back in the second quarter though, outscoring the Lady Lions 11 to eight make it this narrow 17 to 16 lead for the Lady Lions. I know you mentioned this the other night at Solomon Dale, but I'll mention it tonight. Minneapolis will host the Substate 3A basketball tournament here in Minneapolis. You guys still have a list of the teams that are coming in here? Did you leave that in your attack? It's today? all league schools except for Riley County and Hayes TMP. Beloit, Ellsworth, Southeast, us. And Russell. And Russell. And in Riley County and Hayes DMP. Uh -huh. All those teams will be in here for a tough date. Well, half of them. Play out. First, first games always are on the uh, right the home floor of the better seats. And those teams might not get here. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be an exciting time. Again, that's be the first Kansas State High School Activity Association tournaments that the Lions have hosted since 1969. And I lost track, that wasn't my senior year, that was my junior year. Yeah, yeah it makes, I, even makes it older than it was. I was freshman, I believe. Anyway, possession arrow favors Bennington, and they'll play it in at half court. If I remember right, my senior year, the school hosted a 1A substate or a district. Regional? Yeah. Or a district. So we weren't it was in. a district. So we weren't in. Of course, it was a class below us. Right. And we're underway here. Stanley out on top, guarded by Nelson. Ball screen set. She hops. And the ball goes the other side to Trout. Trout with happy feet. Shuffles the pivot foot before she gets the ball on the floor. And traveling is the call. Turnover right back to Minneapolis. Murphy guarding Shoop. Baseline jump shot, no good. Cornick almost over the back, but she traveling is a call. Lost Boy, they, her balance, couldn't keep it. They could have easily called that, Dale. I'm glad they didn't. That would have been her third foul, and she would have went right back to the bench. Stanley hands it off to Murphy on the right wing. Gets a ball screen. Kaiser now in the lane. Stanley goes. Scoop shot, no good. Gets her own rebound. Shot up and good. 
Bennett contested by number 10, Chloe Stanley. Good second effort there by Stanley. Now we lose it. Stanley gets it back. Gets it off to Kaiser. We turn it over. Ball handling woes, Dale. Trout, jump shot, baseline, no good. Back rim. Charisma Vigneri pulls down the rebound, gets it off to Nelson on the left wing. She has an opening all the way to the basket. It's not looking. Walker, long shot, no good. Ball poked out of there by Minneapolis, picked up by Murphy. Lady Dogs up 18 to 17. Trout on the left wing, guarded by Vigneri. Minneapolis in a man to man defense. Stanley's pass inside to Watson is intercepted by Nelson. Nice job by Kirsty Nelson. Skip pass Walker over to Nelson. Almost a walk. Now shoot. Long shot on its way. No good. Off the mark. At the range, but off the mark. Trout. And he's swinging around to Stanley on the left wing. Now down low. Watson shot up. No good. And a good job. There, Stanley and Kornick fighting for that rebound. It's a jump ball, possession arrow favors Minneapolis. In for Minneapolis, number two, Caroline. And we have a timeout. Boy, Watson missed that point yeah, flight down there. It's a full timeout. Back in for Benning. Full timeout. Be right back. 1817, Benning. Welcome back to the gym. Minneapolis to play it in after that timeout. Bennington with a one point lead now. We'll try to trap again with that one, three, one as Giles throws over the top to Nelson. Dribble drive all the way in. Nelson kicks it off the glass. Kornick has the rebound. Her stick back is no good and Kaiser has it for Bennington. Now the layup is missed. Faith Kornick had a hand on it. Carolyn Giles ended up with it. Now Minneapolis in the half court set. Down low, Kornick couldn't hang on to it and goes out of bounds to Bennington. Stanley. Out front, guarded by Giles. Looks like half the team's playing in the zone, the, and one person's playing a man to man. Box and one. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, looks like Walker hasn't figured it out yet. The rest of them are playing man to man. No? 2 3 zone, I think, but there's a couple of them that are overplaying, and that's good. Murphy gets it off to Kind. Jump down pass to Watson, spins, shoot, off the glass, no good. And Walker there for the rebound. Goodness. <laughs> A little bit out of her range, goes through the legs, out of bounds. It will be Bennington's ball to play in when we come back after this 30-second timeout. Welcome back. The Lady Dogs up by a point, 18-17, and with the ball. Kaiser plays it in, and Stanley has it for the Lady Dogs. Now dribble drive by Murphy, shut down nicely by Giles. Ball tipped out of there, will stay with the Lady Dogs. Four minutes and three 
13 seconds have gone, and there have been a total of three points scored in the <laughs> quarter. Kaiser out front, hands it off to Stanley. Zone defense, and Bennington a little slow to react to that. Shot from the outside by Stanley, no good. And Carolyn Giles has the rebound from Minneapolis. There we go. Back cut and a nice pass, and Kirsty Nelson has a bucket down low. Lead goes back and forth. Bennington maintains it, 20 to 19. And Kine gets a bucket on the other end. We, we travel. We walk with it. Walker walked with it. <laughs> How's Giles? Was it Giles? Twenty to nineteen, Stanley with the ball. And that pass is intercepted by Greg. Now Shoop has it. Triple drive in the baseline, gets it off to Kornick and she is fouled. Foul is whistled on number twenty two. That's Watson. Shoot to play it in. Minneapolis out on top to Walker. Kornick has it. Ball tipped. And we, I don't know where we're throwing it. But Bennington, I guess. Jump shot, no good. And ball is tipped around and picked up by Zoe Shoop. McNary has it. And blocking foul is called on Kine. That's her second. Her third Minneapolis. Second. Excuse me, that's her third. Uh, I've got her with two, and so does the board. Down low, Kornick, spin, shot. Good. That's what we've been missing. Yep. Good shot there. Minneapolis now with a one point lead. She is a tough matchup down low. And she's improved her shot tremendously from last year. She's deadly in the paint. Low block. Turns and faces, faces the basket. 30 second timeout. Bennington. The Lady Lions back up 21 to 20, 201 to go here in the third quarter. Well, with that, our two leading scorers doing much tonight. Two leading scorers from the last game. Yeah, they're our point totals are down significantly. Correct. Yeah. Two minutes left in this third period. Minneapolis starting to show some signs of Offense. Kornick staying in the game, playing with two personal fouls, which is a good thing. She got enough rest in the first half. Let her play. Yeah, let her go. <laughs> yeah, she didn't play much of the first quarter, that's for sure. Bennington play it in. Stanley has it. 2 3 zone by Minneapolis. 15 guarding 15. Nice shot. Watson uh, with the turnaround shot. That shot is no good. Oh, nice save by Shoot. Kornick is the one that bounced it in off the Bennington player. Tipped it back in, did she? And yeah. I saw it come back in, but I didn't see who tipped it. Bennington couldn't get a handle on it, and it goes out of bounds to Minneapolis. Walker can't get the shot over the top of the extended defense. It's blocked, and Bennington picks up the loose ball. 22-21, Bennington with the lead. Kaiser Trout on the left wing. Shot short. 
Yeah, that ball out off Kaiser. Tipped out of there, but Kaiser could not get a handle on it. 22-21, Bennington. McNary on the left wing, guarded by Stanley. Drag looks at a shot. Call for Palmer the ball before she's tripped. Closely guarded, but loses it. Turnover gives it right back to Bennington. Kaiser shot no good, and Charisma Vigneri has the rebound, the reach in foul by Kaiser. That's her second. Foul Bennington, number 12. Third team foul. Giles and Nelson back in the contest. 35 to shoot here at in the third quarter. McNary has not had an open look. Nelson could have been called for a walk there. Nelson shot from the outside short. Rebound by Shoup. Now all the way in. Nelson throws it to Watson. That's a walk. Goodness. Walked again, I thought. Watson shot no good. Murphy over the back. Not called at the buzzer. So Minneapolis. Trailing Bennington here by one at the end of the third quarter. This is Eagle Communications, Channel 20. We'll be Let's right back with the fourth quarter here in just a minute. Welcome back. 413 left in this contest. Minneapolis making a run at the Lady Dogs. We were down three possessions. All of a sudden, Charisma Vigneri finds the range from the outside and has knocked down two threes in a row for Minneapolis. Now the Lady Lions just trailing by two. Tightly contested contest here. Lady Dogs playing very good defense on Minneapolis. Minneapolis back in a man-to-man -man defense as well. Well, go get it. <laughs> Wilson saves it. There we go. They turn it over. Wilson saved it. No one went after it. And he, she just went right back inbounds and picked it up. And there's a travel. In for Bennington, number 15, Jordan Murphy, and number three, Sonia Travel. In for the Lady Lions, number 21, Courtney Forte. And there we go. Number two, Caroline. Jump shot, no good, and Forte has the board from Minneapolis, tipped out of there by Kornick. Now Minneapolis on the move. Giles gets it off to Forte. Now Nelson. Forte has it, guarded by Kaiser. Gets it on the floor, Kornick has it. Nelson, dribble drive. Guarded closely by Trout. Not much going on. There we go. Cornet ties it up at 29. 2.30 to go in the game. Nice entry pass to Cornick down low on the low block. And she has been money so far this year on the low block. All tied up. 2.18 left in this contest. Kaiser out on top, or excuse me, that's Watson. Now the back cut. 
Knocked away by Nelson. Ball is picked off. Picked up by Cornick. Minneapolis takes a full and time out. Tied at 29. Coach Weatherman wanted a timeout and no referee could see him. He's taking a full timeout. We'll take one too. Call knotted up. 29 all. We'll be right back. <laughs> I remember the two, but I don't remember the name. Yeah, Minneapolis ball. It's, we called the timeout. We need somebody to throw it in. Goodness. What are we thinking? The guards were not presenting themselves to nope. the. We just give it right back to them. Oh, well. We learn by those. Watson has it, looking for the cutter. Kaiser floating through. Now Stanley back door. Can't get it as Nelson's playing good defense. Stroud out on top, guarded by Vigneri. Watson, Kaiser. Tied at 29, down to 135 to go in the fourth quarter. Good man-to-man -man defense by the Lady Lions. Bennington not seeing an open cutter. Minute 20 left in the contest. Watson hands it off. Miss motion offense. Bennington. Stanley has it. Now guarded by Nelson. We have some fouls to give, as long as they aren't shooting. Yes. There's oh. that back door. That was a very good job on the offense by Bennington to work that ball and finally did get that back door cut. Cornick. With the left hand down on the low block, that's up and in. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 31 all. Trout, long shot on its way, it's good. Three. 34-31, 14 seconds remaining. Minneapolis takes the timeout. Timeout, Minneapolis. Trout with the three ball from the outside. Gives Bennington a three-point lead. And Minneapolis takes the full timeout. If we set up a play, we definitely need a three ball, don't yep. we? She was plenty wide open, wasn't she? Trout hadn't hit a thing all night long until that shot. I think the rest of the shots were too close. That one was money. somewhere she's been a good three-point shooter for us so far this season and last season actually 34 31 Bennington with three-point lead Nelson to play it in we can't get it in we do shoot over to Vigneri three-pointer on its way it's partially blocked and Stanley comes out of there with it he's fouled As you mentioned, uh, just too many fouls to give to put them at the free throw line, so. 3.5 seconds left in the contest. Bennington to play it in, we can hope for a five count here. And Stanley can run it out in the backcourt if she'd like, and she does. 34-31 the final, the Lady Dogs of Bennington. Over the Lady Lions of Minneapolis, they break a 12-game losing streak. 
against the Lady Lions. Been a while, hasn't it? We'll be back for a wrap up. Welcome back to the gym. Minneapolis and Bennington ladies. Lady Dog just got done with their contest. Lady Dog pull off a, I'd say a little bit of an upset, but uh, for the most part, well played and all the way through by the dogs. Minneapolis played with Faith Kornick on the bench the most of the first half. But uh, she got her points, key points there in the second half. But Stanley is the MVP for Bennington. And she uh, leads all scores tonight with 14. But Trout had the big bucket at the end. Hadn't made anything all night. Hit the big three. And it's uh, pretty much the story. Trout ended up three points. Stanley with 14. Kaiser with five. Murphy with two. Watson with six. Kind with two. And Wilson with two. Should total up to... 34. 34 points. For Minneapolis, and we just really couldn't get on track tonight. Uh, I think as Faith Kornick on the bench for most of the half, it just, it just couldn't get going the way we got going the other night at Solomon. Faith uh, Kornick ended up leading Minneapolis in scoring with 11 points. Prisma Vigneri with two big threes in the fourth quarter to get us close. She had eight points. Courtney Walker had two. Chrissy Nelson had six. Caroline Giles had a bucket. So did Kaylee Provasco. By quarters, Minneapolis led nine to five at the end of one. Bennington outscored us 11 to eight in the second quarter for a narrow one point lead for Minneapolis at half. They outscored us a whopping six to four in the third to take a one point lead. And that scored us 12 to 10 in the final stand for that final three point advantage, 34 to 34. First win for the Lady Dogs against Minneapolis since 2002. Breaking the 12 game win streak. So congratulations to them. 15 years. Yep. Minneapolis will play Halstead tomorrow at 3 o'clock at the AB Arena, isn't it? Maybe. Like it, at the Kansas Bus Camp. With that, we're going to sign this one off, and we'll be back for the guys. <laughs>